We talk South Carolina football each and every week with Will Gunter from the all-new early game, 107.5 The Game, so you can catch the long-form conversation on Twitter, Podbean, and iTunes. Just search Mark Rogers TV, or if you want to watch uh, us uh, and look at the video, uh, we um, have some concerns there. But uh, if you do, if you want to see us, of course, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, Will, uh, Debo Samuel has to be missed. Uh, I think you made a pretty good case for there being replacements, maybe not one, but several when we discussed it last week. But he was just a an automatic score early, uh, at least in the season before. Of course, you made the point, and, and it would be obvious the teams would kick away from him, but even in the pass offense. So you work that into the red zone and the argument you just made about issues in the red zone. And I think this is not just a South Carolina thing. A lot of teams struggle in the red zone because spacing becomes an issue. Uh, if they have speed advantages, those are reduced. There's a lot of issues in the red zone that makes it difficult to score. Uh, but Debo's obviously missed to some extent. Well, no, you, you don't take away a player like Debo Samuel and get better. But, you know, we saw Ortre Smith, another big freshman last week, step up and have a, a big touchdown catch uh, late in the ball game. Brian Edwards had six catches for 122 yards. Dreek Davis or Randrakis Davis stepped up a little bit last week. Shot Smith, 10 guys caught passes. Uh, now, none of them made necessarily a Debo Samuel-like play. None of them made a one-handed catch like he did for a touchdown against uh, North Carolina State. Nobody took a, a slant pattern, 68 yards like he did against um, uh, against uh, uh, Kentucky. Nobody took an end around and took it 25 yards like he did against Missouri. I mean, you talk about some explosive plays like that, but I do think that the players are still there to make something happen but they've got to continue to get opportunities. A lot of them are young still. South Carolina, it's it's. I, I know that fans are tired of the youth excuse. They don't want to hear it. 16, 17 games have been played now since the beginning of last year. But you look out there in the backfield on Saturday and you see a sophomore in Jake Bentley who's yet to start 12 games. You see Rico Dowdle, who's a sophomore. Tyson Williams, who's a sophomore. Brian Edwards is a sophomore. Shy Smith is a freshman. Or Trey Smith is a freshman. I, I know people don't want to hear it. I do totally get it. And Corey Helms, an offensive lineman, got hurt uh, during that game last weekend. They had to go with a redshirt freshman and said Darius Hutcherson. You're talking about six guys uh, out of your starting 11 that are freshmen or sophomores uh, that are playing impact roles. So I, I get it. People don't want to hear the youth excuse any longer, and, and I do understand that. But you still got to realize this is still an evolving offense for South Carolina. 